friends, you are now the recipients of the Greater House of Prayer live stream service. Our founder, overseer, and bishop-elect is Galen Leverett. We are located at 700 East, 111th Street in Chicago, Illinois. These services are brought to you every Sunday from 12.15 p.m. to 1.15 p.m. Central Standard Time on the World Wide Web. This webcast is dedicated to the sick, the shut-in, and those who love the Lord. For this worship experience, I am your announcer, Marquita McKenzie. The combined choirs return to you singing, Jesus.
our scripture would be read by Minister Michelle Hughes. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, for by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is rewarded of them that diligently seek him. I read in your hearing Hebrews 11 chapter verses 1 through 6. And the word of the Lord is blessed. This is the Great House of Prayer Church, where our founder, overseer, and bishop-elect is Galen Leverett. If you are enjoying these services or would like to donate to this ministry, you may contact us at area code 872-703-703. 3137, or you may visit our website at www.greatsorhouseofprayer.org. Again, that number is 872-703-3137, and our website is www.greatsorhouseofprayer.org. You may also zell the church at galen.com at yahoo.com, or cash out the church at dollar sign ghop700. Again, Zell is available at Galen.com at Yahoo.com or Cash App is available at dollar sign GHOP700. Are you tired, frustrated, afraid, worried, or confused? We want to pray with you. If you are going through a difficult situation, test, or trial, then it is time to seek God's face. Dial our free prayer line and a minister will pray with you for your strength and success. All prayer requests are kept confidential. Dial 1-866-927-5446. That's 1-866-9-AX-GHOP. You can also follow the Greater House of Prayer on Facebook at Greater House of Prayer, Instagram at The Real GHOP and GHOP YYA, and on TikTok at The Real GHOP. We want to remind you to dial into our nightly services Monday through Friday at 7.30 p.m. That number is 712-832-8330. The access code is 440-5945. Following morning service, we will be fellowshipping with Bishop Dead Kingdom Temple of Glory Church of Christ today at 4.30 p.m. The address is 5537 South Racine, Chicago, Illinois, 60621. Again, the address is 5537 South Racine, Chicago, Illinois, 60621. As we continue with our weekly webcast, the combined choirs return to you singing, How Excellent.
Apostle Prayer live stream service and you still have time to be on time for this service. Fine choirs now return to you singing, He That Believeth. The next speaking voice that you will hear will be that of our founder, overseer, and bishop elect, Galen Leverett.
just lift your hand if you're glad you got a home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got a home. You got a home. We got a home. A home in glory. But there'll be no more sickness. No more pain. No more heartache. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. Let's give God some praise. Everlasting life. That's why we are here because we are looking to have everlasting life. When this life is over, we're looking for everlasting life. I don't know about you, but then we can live forever. Trust in the Lord with all our hearts and lean not to thine own understanding. In all our ways acknowledge God and he will direct our path. Always to the spirit of prophet L.K. Johnson and to all of our ministers and to each and every one in the sanctuary. God bless those that are in the sanctuary. God bless those that are watching by way of a live screen. We are praying for anyone that has lost any loved ones. This broadcast and this live screen goes out to Dr. Alicia Geddes and family down in Danville, Illinois. Reverend Darcia Slaughter and all her whole entire family in Texas. Reverend Shirley Green is also in Texas. And Minister Dora Bay in Arizona. Sister Rebecca in Maryland, and Sister Dorothy Young in Tennessee, Mother Tyler, Minister Irwin, Sister Garnett. God is good, isn't he? Somebody said all the time, God is good. Yeah. What I like about him is he will make a way. Even when there is no way. And he will bring light when there is midnight. I don't know about you, but on this past Monday, I don't know how many of you watched the eclipse, but... A lot of people, you, you, you don't understand that that phenomenon was God's hand. The moon and the sun belongs to God. 
And we were having a watch party. Some of the deacons was over because we was having the carpet installed. And, um, and so, the Lord is moving by his spirit. This afternoon at 4.30, we will be with Bishop Desmond Battles over at 5537 South Racine. We're going to fellowship and worship with him. Um, hopefully, did, uh, we get into the end of our fellowships. But as soon as May come, we'll start them all over again because my church is having their anniversary starting in May. May 1st, every Wednesday in May, they will start their anniversary and, and they will uh, climax their anniversary with a dinner at the Le Chateau Del Mar. Does that sound familiar? At the Le Chateau Del Mar in Hickory Hills. Yeah, and so we are going to be there. God bless. That's my church. First Church of Deliverance. Okay. Very quickly, let me invite your attention to a very familiar passage over in the book of John, John the fifth chapter. You don't have to stand, just keep your seat for a second. I'm just going to read a portion of the scripture. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is a, in, at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. And these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, a blind halted with her, waiting for the moving of the water. And just for just a short time, I like to use for a subject is my season. And in order for it to be your season, then you might have to repeat it with me. It's my season. And that makes it personal for you. So that's the reason why I had you to say it, because I could have said, it's your season. But on a more personal note, if you agree that it's your season, then you should say it's my season. It's my season. Can I add something to that? Yes. To be blessed. You are not acting like it's your season to be blessed. And once again, I declare that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered the hearts of men what God has in store for those that love him. That's why it's my season. Sometimes we just don't act like it's our season because we go moping around just like the fact is that we're having a pity party with ourselves and then we invite other folks to the pity party. But I want to invite you to my season. I don't know about you, but I'm being blessed as we speak right now. You should be know that you are blessed as we speak. If God wake you up this morning, start you on your way, it's your season. And especially if you're closed in your right mind, it's your season. I could I could go to my seat with that. I could 
So we've been having a little controversy, and uh, we've been talking about how is it that the disciples as far as recording is concerned. Y'all get this straight now and here, okay? I said none of the gospel writers recorded them specifically healing anybody. Did Jesus commission them? Yes. Did he tell them? Yes. Did they go? Yes. And they probably healed somebody, but we don't know who they did, who it was. Yeah. You know, I don't want to be braggadocious. But I could be. I've dabbled in the scriptures a little bit. So put that in your pipe. Smoke it beside some loud. <laughs> After Pentecost, there are numerous times where Peter healed the sick by matter of fact he healed somebody name of by the name of Dorcas that was turned into the English words Tabitha yeah he brought her back from the dead if you remember last Sunday I talked about a man laying at the gate of the Isle of Prayer Peter and John passed by and said, look on us. Look on us, but look past us and see somebody that I'm going to tell you about. Somebody that can save anybody. His name is Jesus. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Yeah. In this particular situation, there was a man that had been born not being able to walk from his mother's womb. And there he laid at the pool called Bethesda, where there was a lot of folk. Somebody said a lot of folk. A lot of folk was there also. And they was waiting for a miracle. They was waiting for the moving of the water. And no doubt that all of them that were by the pool had heard that once a year, I don't know how long a year was, maybe it was not 365 days. I haven't studied my Roman cal calendar. It may have been less than 365, but they said that every once of a year, the angel would come. Trouble in this particular situation means to ruffle the water. And I don't know why it is, but they said the first person, it didn't say all of them that stepped in the water after the angel had troubled the water, but the first person would get in the water could be healed. If I had been sitting around there, I would have been saying, well, what about the second and the third and the fourth person? If I had been sitting there and had been taking me, I've been for 38 years, by the time 20 come out, I, I, I would have had an attitude. And I would have been telling, I've been, listen, ain't no telling what I would have said. I would have started me a, a cussing spree or something going on here. I've been sitting around this place for a long time and I'm tired of all of y'all stepping in front of me. Especially when the fact is that he had to go back and sit down on his pallet and wait again. Now, I could have entitled this sermon, Wait on the Lord. Y'all turn the air on. They're getting hot. Turn the air on. 
if you can. Yeah. Sitting around waiting. I could have named it Wait on the Lord. Which a lot of us don't like doing. But I found something about, about waiting. I've been able to perfect the waiting abilities in my own life. I've been able to perfect it. Somebody asked me, why have you been able to perfect it? Because I had no other choice. I couldn't make things happen when I wanted to. to. Sometime in your life, you cannot make things happen. You just got to let it happen. This is why it's just so hard to wait on the Lord. It's hard to wait on anything. And growing up, I had very little patience of waiting. I would, someone would make me a promise. If my father made me a promise, I would sit there patiently and hold him accountable to that promise that he would make. I don't, you see, y'all, y'all ain't never experienced it. He would promise us that he was going to take us swimming. You, you know, see, y'all, y'all, you know, y'all got pools behind your house, so you don't have to worry about that. But we had to find a creek. Those of you that are from the rural areas and from down south, you had to find a creek to go to. I done gone way back now. Don't, don't start reminiscing. You had to find a creek to go to in order to get to a swimming place. Sometimes you had to cross folks' land in order to get to a, a, they call it a swimming hole. And he would say, well, I'm going to take you guys swimming. And he even told us one time, I'm not going to take you swimming until you learn how to swim. And you know, I always had a smart mouth. I said, Daddy, let me ask you a question. He said, what? I said, how can I learn how to swim if I don't go swimming? And you know, back then they'll say, boy, you manage. Sit down. So this, in this particular situation, there was more than just one place that someone could step in after the troubling of the water. They said it was five approaches. So I'm thinking that there was five different little pools, little hot tubs that you could step in after the angel would trouble the water. This man had been waiting 38 years. I don't want to ask if nobody is 38 years old. Who's 38? You're lucky today if you're 38. You're 38? Oh, I thought you raised your hand. Huh? Anybody 38? Okay, they did not your lucky, didn't they? 38 years is a long time. Listen, 38 years is a long time for to be sitting waiting for your healing for your deliverance, for your come up. 38 years is a long time to wait, but sometimes you just got to wait. There's a blessing in the waiting. After about one or two years, I can imagine it's probably easy, but then after about four or five or six or seven, after it got into like 20 years, I can imagine it's get frustrating to sit and wait. Some of you, you can't wait, but you need to. Some of you won't wait, but you should wait. It's amazing to me how many people, they want things done yesterday. You want to come into a job. You want to be the CEO the second day you sign on for the job. How could you be the CEO when you don't even know what the job entails? I remember people telling me how 
that when I first start pastoring, they say, so you've been pastoring one year. Yeah. That's where you start. Guess what? That one year now has turned into 16 years. <laughs> Tell somebody, you got, you got to hold on. You got to wait. You got to wait for it, honey. It's coming, but you got to wait. Come on, I come to encourage somebody. It's coming, but you got to wait. They said in a certain season. They didn't say when the season was, but they said a certain season. An angel would come and trouble the water. This man, after he had been laying for 38 years, I can imagine that he got up when he saw the angel come for the troubling of the water. By the time he got up, by the time he started on his way, it was already too late. Matter of fact, by the time he stood up, it was too late because there was other people watching for the troubling of the water. And Jesus began to question him and said, why aren't you here? He said, because every time that I head to the water, somebody steps in front of me. I know sometimes you feel like everybody's in front of you. When you go on the job, they're already in front of you. But I got something that I want to tell you, that God will make room for your gift. Doesn't matter how long they've been there. When God gets ready, say, hey, well, God get ready. God get ready. And this is why Jesus stopped by. He didn't have to wait any longer. Because now his troubling of the water was over. So Jesus said to him, pick up your bed and walk. He didn't have to wait any longer. Your season will come. Sometime your season is already here. But if it haven't come yet, just keep on. Keep on waiting. Because after a while, Jesus will stop by. And you won't have to wait no longer. I don't know about you. But your season is not on the way. But your season is here right now. But you got to claim your season. You got to walk in your season. You got to operate in your season. You can't let nobody else stop you from your season. Stop listening to the naysayer. Don't stop listening to people. Don't let nobody stop you from your season. Somebody say, it's my season to be blessed. This global ministry is streaming live and you can enjoy this spiritual experience from anywhere in the world by visiting our website at www.greatsterhouseofprayer.org or viewing us on Facebook at Deborah Turner for any and all previous services. The Combined Choir concludes this webcast service singing It's My Season, especially for Sister Rebecca in Maryland, Sister Elise Robertson of Fort Worth, Texas, Dr. Alicia Geddes in Danville, Illinois, faithful friends and followers in Alabama, Georgia, Arizona, Mississippi, New York, Oklahoma, Tennessee, North Carolina, Los Angeles, California, Pensacola, Florida, South Carolina, Indiana, Ohio, Virginia, Michigan and Darien, Illinois, Denmark, Barcelona, Spain, Puerto Rico, and Ghana, Africa. And from Greater House to your house, have a blessed week.